All right, how y'all doing? It's your girl, the Empress, 555. And I'm coming to you with another one. You already know spirit is in the building, okay? I don't know why these flipped out, but we're going to go ahead and go with it. I feel like some people, y'all working on healing a wound that you know that's keeping you from the high standards that you would like to um you would like to live is keeping you from this high standard that you want okay and what i'm what i'm feeling is that um you it's like out of nowhere you like you know what this is a toxic behavior Mm -hmm. So out of nowhere, it's like you 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 really checked yourself. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying you 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 checking yourself, and that's a good thing. Yeah, you yeah, you checked yourself, and that's a good thing. Okay, you're being illuminated of what you what toxicity that you are holding on to, not what you're carrying, but you're illuminated to the toxicity that you're holding on to, which which is. Um, aiding you in making bad decisions, not bad decisions, but not the very best ones for you. And then it's like shortly you get in a situation and you like, ah, okay, this ain't it for me. I should have stayed put or I should have did this or I should have did that. But it's because it's like you're catching your own toxic ways. You know what I'm saying? Or your own attraction to toxicity. I hope it makes sense, okay? You're attracting that, yeah. And you really want equal give and take here. But you're understanding that it's a part of you that don't give equally. So that's that may be why you're not receiving things or people that are equally give, give and take. Yeah. I feel like... Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to say that, okay. Yeah, but it's it's an equal give and take that you are realizing that you have to give yourself. Yeah, you're ending cycles of not being fulfilled, okay? And you're understanding that, okay, let me check myself because I, this ain't feeling right. You feel me? You, yeah, you're taking the initiative and action to put the courage and the determination into yourself right now so you can understand that, okay, if I'm not receiving what I want, I must be giving out what I'm, I, I don't want. So now it's like, if I'm giving self-doubt, I'm not going to do that anymore. If I'm giving people um, um, the benefit of the doubt, and I know they don't need, I'm not going to do that anymore, okay? You're, you're, you're just, you're correcting the little small mistakes that you have made, which are going to amplify you when it comes to your spirituality, when it comes to your, um, your, your, your intuition and things of that nature. You're amplifying things. That's why you could find yourself getting back cool with people and things of that nature. But it's like it's, it ain't it ain't the way it was before we left each other. You know what I'm saying? Or before we stopped talking, or whatever the case may be. It's not like it was before because you have already started to correct what is in what's toxic with inside of you, um, or what's attracting you to toxicity. You are definitely correcting that so that's why when you looking at people it's like nah this ain't this ain't what i thought it was you you realize that i was sacrificing myself you understand and i was um, i was being i was really in conflict with myself because self wouldn't realize that oh i don't need this in my system so e even though i felt it and i i was like you know i don't really know about this you should have listened to your intuition and now you're understanding that my intuition comes first and then I gotta I gotta stop being attracted to toxic things and people and you're going for a new opportunity here a new opportunity is going to come toward you okay and this is a test from spirit to try to see okay have your toxic have your toxic ways really changed 
And then you're going to see some fruits of your labor, okay, if you pass this test, all right? And it's something that you manifest. Spirit wants to give to you. But Spirit got to make sure your toxic ways are under control here, okay? Um, curious, energetic, alert, inspired. Yeah. You're about to learn something new here about yourself that is going to take you very far okay that are going to open the gates to your manifest for, for your manifestations okay but you have to know that the toxic ways that you are exhibiting are from wounds that you have gotten or are from it's like waking up those abandonment issues that, that wound that all of that is waking it all up that's why and, and and boredom is waking it up you get bored and you get tired of being alone and things of that nature and then you start just doing stuff that's a toxic trait because if you're just doing stuff and it does not align with your life or what you want to bring into your life, it's not going to work out, okay? And Spirit is saying, Spirit needs some people to leave the past in the past. Yeah, hold back from the past, okay? You know, hold back from it and move forward fast, very quickly, okay? Move forward. Because when you do, the fruits of your labor are going to show but you have to be patient enough with yourself and the process, okay? And your purpose. Be patient enough with yourself and the process and things will change. It's, in this case, Spirit is saying it's not everybody else because I need you to get right, okay? It, it ain't about everybody else right now. Everybody else had their chance to get right through you, but they couldn't do it. It's not your fault. You don't owe anybody anything. And guilt is not on the board when it comes to self-preservation. Okay? So some of you are making these decisions through boredom. Some of you are making these decisions through guilt. Some of you are making these decisions through love. But you got to understand love does not hurt. And love has no conditions on it. Okay? You can love somebody unconditionally. But still do what's best for you in the end, at the end of the day. You know. So, yeah, that's what Spirit wants you all to know. Until we meet again, I love you guys. Please pray stayed up, uh, stay prayed up. And please just, you know, think about all decisions that you make before you make them. And even though we, we make mistakes and things of that nature, guess what? It's nothing to correct a mistake. It's nothing to say, you know, it's nothing to live up, live up to the truth that's within you. And that's what's going and, and what's going on with you. It's nothing wrong with admitting that shit, I fucked up, okay? And now I need to correct it and let me do this, you know? That, that's the problem. People have too much pride, and you know, to say, I messed up. And guess what? We all going to mess up. We going to mess up. Our children going to mess up. Because it's a part of life. You got to learn. So, yeah. Just the decisions you make, make them in the best interest of yourself. Okay? You know? And if you know something's going to make you sad and unhappy, why put yourself there? I don't care how much you love somebody. Why put yourself there? Love does not hurt. Love is not doubt. Love is not that. Fear is not fear. You have to step into it. Because when I say I love everybody, I really love everybody. And I'm going to treat everybody the way I would like to be treated. And then I'm going to, when I'm wrong... I'm going to dissect it. Even if you don't know that I'm dissecting it, I'm going to dissect it. And then I'm going to tell you when I'm wrong, okay? I'll tell you when I'm wrong. And it's a hard thing to do. Because I don't like to be wrong. <laughs> but everybody is wrong sometimes. So I can't just say I don't like to be wrong and I, I'm not ever wrong. No. So. 
that's where I'm coming from with that. Until we meet again, you guys. Peace.